I am honored to be here tonight to celebrate a group of performers who have distinguished themselves with their exceptional work this past year. The actors nominated in this category, great, uh, in this great new category of outstanding lead performance, are all magicians of a kind, illusionists who disappear, not with a puff of smoke, but wholly and fully into their characters with great thought, skill, and passion. Now let's take a look at these performers and their exceptional work. And the winner of the 2021 Gotham Award for Outstanding Lead Performance goes to, um, the jury for this award determined there were two performances this year. Yeah, more drama. Um, that in their own uniquely rich and moving ways were equally so outstanding that both of these performances should be awarded and celebrated tonight. Do I do it like I read the name and then they clap and then I read the other name or how do I do that? Anyway. Oh yeah, this is tricky. Okay. Frankie Faison and Olivia Coleman. Thanks everyone for staying so long. <laughs> this film that I'm getting this award for is much bigger to me than any award could ever be because it was made with such passion and commitment and honesty and gives a message that our society needs to hear now. I want to thank the Chamberlain family Kenneth Jr. sitting at our table. He is the son of Kenneth Chamberlain, and he is, he has been a tireless leader in trying to get some kind of accountability for his family, for this horrible thing that happened to his father. So I would like to dedicate this to him and his family. I'd like to thank David Mydell for an amazing script, an amazing direction. I'd like to thank Enrico for his work as an actor and editor, Enrico Natal Lee. <laughs> I'd like to thank Morgan Freeman, Laurie McCreary, and Revelations for jumping in there and picking us up when we needed to be picked up. This small little train just went uphill and uphill, thanks to you guys. And I'd like to thank Gravitas. I'd like to thank all of the actors and crew members, everybody who worked on this film, this little teeny film on such a small, small budget and brought it to life because they believed in the story and the commitment. It's breathtaking. I'd like to thank my manager, David Gus, and everyone at Vanguard. David has been with me for over 40 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a dream story for me because I've always wanted to be with someone who believed in me and who stood by me, and I believed in them and their vision. And last but not least, I'd like to thank my wife, Samantha Jupiter, Faison. 
She has pushed me. She's been there for me. She has led me. She's the reason that I'm here. She's the reason I'm looking like I'm looking tonight with my red hat. <laughs> my love to you all. Thank you for this award. I texted Olivia and I said, uh, if you do win tonight, we write a little something. And she said, oh, yes, of course. I can make you say hilarious things. And then she put a little devil emoji. So here you go. Um, Hi, Maggie, it's me, Olivia. <laughs> Hope that nasty rash is cleared up. <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm not there with you to hold you up when you get drunk. Should I, should I do an English accent? to hold you up when you get drunk and hold your hair when you vom. If the lovely people at the Gotham Awards vote for me, would you stand up for me and say, Olivia is my favorite actress. I much prefer her to Jesse, Dakota, and Dagmara. In fact, I wish I were Olivia Coleman. And would you thank them for loving your beautiful film that you couldn't have done without me? <laughs> Seriously, though, I love you, Maggie. I love the whole cast and incredible Greek crew. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Spetsis. Thank you, Gotham Awards from Olivia Coleman. <laughs>